You played with it as a child. Now you can paint with it as an adult and do some beautiful scenic sand art using scenic sand from Activa products. With me today is Sally Strauss, who is going to introduce us to the versatility of this product. Sally, tell us a little bit about the sand. We're very excited about our brand new eight pack scenic sand assortment. You have your six primary colors plus black and white, and they're in a very nice, comfortable, easy to hold bottle with a flip top cap and you can control your pouring if you just want a thin line or if you want to shake it or whatever. That's a great idea. It's a wonderful idea and it's a nice size. Now as you're working with this there are just a few simple ingredients that you're going to use to work with sand and those are? Those are water. Read that's easy. Water <laughs> uh, for washing the paintbrush. Your surface is first with covered with glue. Okay. So you need glue, a paint brush, and you're literally painting with glue. And then the sand will be applied to the And then the, the sand is applied to the glue while it is wet. Now one of the things you probably think of as you're thinking about traditional American Indian um, sand painting is that that southwestern look. But today we're not going to work on glass. We're going to work on a variety of surfaces. Let's start over here, Sally, and talk a little bit about the beautiful floral work that you've done. What surface have you done on it there? The florals are done on scrap mat board. What a wonderful way to use up leftover pieces. It's wonderful to use the, the leftovers and you draw your design on there and if people say, oh, but I can't draw. All you need do is use a coloring book or a simple you, design. Yeah, a simple tracer. design, and you can trace it on, and then it almost becomes a matter of paint by numbers. We can also talk about the wood surfaces here with our little pre-cut shapes. Now there are so many of those available, and you can just simply work on the wood surfaces there. What about these over here? What are over the there, the surface there is sandpaper. You can just do this you, right on sandpaper? You have paper? drawn your design on sandpaper, filled in with the glue and the colored sand. Now you will, well for sandpaper, you will need to back it because it would ripple and not stay flat okay. if you do not apply it to a firm surface. I think one of the darling things is the baskets. Now those can be done almost like a stenciled look. Absolutely. You have the uh, little holly basket and the cow basket are done as you would, some people might paint, but I paint with glue and sand, and that gives a very soft, flock, almost a flocked effect. It's really lovely. And then the other little basket is done in the southwest, southwest, southwest right. colors. That's yes. really lovely. Now this is another almost a scrap product you might have, and this one is done on foam core. Yes, it is. So there's another way to use some of your leftover pieces. What about this one? This is really lovely and that does have that southwestern look. That is a hand sculpted pot using a rigid wrap armature. You have, your pot is cellular clay. And once it has dried, you draw your design and paint with the glue and sand. And that really gives it a very nice southwest effect. And our little strawberries again Strawberries are cell you clay. A cookie cutter was used for the shape. They dried, you applied the glue and sand. Well, let's show them how easily this is done. Do you have a project we can start with? Absolutely, it is very, very simple. You first draw your design, and as I said, if you really are worried about um, or say I'm not an artist. There are many designs that can be traced. replicated or traced. I have glue. Okay. And I have a paintbrush. And you would like to start, I'm going to start with the dark color first. And I'm going to fill in this part of the iris. And you really want to use full strength glue and you want to pat it on nice and thickly and you pull it out to cover your pencil marks and here a little feathered edge is not bad because there are bearded iris. Right. So we add this. 
Well, I can see what you mean. It really is very much like paint by number once you have the it design on the surface. Once you have the design on the surface and you're getting an even coating of your glue. And now I am ready. One thing, the glue does begin to film rather rapidly. So you'd only want to work in one area and one color at a time. And I think you mentioned we would usually start with the darkest colors. Yes, in you the can pattern. start with the darkest and work down to the light. But here we have a pretty even coating. And if you want a little depth of dimension, you just vary the thickness of the glue. But this is pretty well covered. And over here, you do not have to stick just to single colors. You can mix them to get a little bit of shading. Here, I have taken some and mixed some purple and some blue, and blue. sand. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to take this, and you really want to coat it. Now, is it important that you apply the sand right away after you put the glue on? Yes, you okay. should. The glue must be moist. Dump the sand on. And you can sit, you're working in one color at a time, so you can save the sand. You don't have to throw it away Wonderful. after every use. Let it count about 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. And then you want to dump it back. And you want to hit the back with, I'll use this, but normally a pair of scissors does better. You want to give it a healthy wrap. OK. That <laughs> dislodges. You, do ne you never want to push the sand in with your fingers. Okay. Let the weight of the sand force itself into the glue. And here. Oh, that's lovely. And look at the shading. Now, I think we can see, if we look over here at this finished one, we have a peach that is done with um, three colors, I think you said, yes. Sally, right? Yes, and we you... blended three colors to get that particular shading. Now, after you've done this color, you would then just continue and paint with another color? You would color? continue. I would finish all of these petals. Because they will Around all be done here. in the same they color? They will all be done in the same color. Right now, this looks very puffy. Mm -hmm. And you say, oh, tomorrow it will be marvelous because the glue shrinks as it dries and you get the flat surface that you see here. You get a very soft effect, but it's not you know, a, a puffy, bubbly effect. Let's look at the florals again, Sally, and tell me a little bit about the difference it makes when you change the color of the background or the mat that you're working with. The poppies were done on black, and it really changed the red, and it gave a different dimension to the red. Now, this, the red in the these red berries. The red in those little berries is the same red of the poppies, but you can see the difference that a dark background and a light background makes in the color acceptance. Exactly. Now, again, the, the water lilies, they are done on the blue. You get the feeling of yeah, the of water movement. behind. You do. And then the nasturtiums were just traditional with, uh, you know, picking up the colors of the sand in your matting. And the white behind there just makes that yeah, color it, jump it out It does. Front. It really does jump out and gives you a totally different effect than the poppies, which are somewhat Recessed a yep. little bit back yep. into it. Now, if you'd like to do some more traditional sand painting, you might want to take a look at the Scenic Sand Art book that's available from Activa Products because there are more designs and ideas in there that yes, can be used. There are. And we'll just close by having you take a look at this. This is something else you might want to do with your Scenic Sand. This is a dimensional piece of wood that is pre-cut, and then you just apply the sand to the top of that. Yes, you would same thing with the glue and there I have gotten the depth of dimension with the thickness of the glue. So again, using just the simple products, the wonderful new scenic sand in the colors, water, the glue and your paintbrush, look what you can create. So, please try it very soon. We know you'll enjoy